This morning in studio, we're joined by Matt Friesen with Winkler Minor Ball. Welcome here, Matt. Thanks a lot, Nicole. Thanks for coming in to talk about, well, it was going to be the pitching clinic. Uh, that's full. Obviously, exciting that it's already full. Yeah, it is exciting that it's already full. We put it up uh, on the website last week, and it was full within not even a day. So it's going to be a great time. Uh, Paul Schack, who is from the community, played some high-level baseball uh, collegiately in the States and also for Team Canada. He's done a lot of coaching like that, also coaches... Uh, the, the regional AAA 18U team here in town. So, um, you know, that is that is a good situation that uh, there's a lot of interest in that. Safe to say he knows what he's doing. He does. Registration for Winkler Minor Ball opens up today. Yes, it is. And uh, all the way from uh, four-year-olds to 18-year-olds can sign up. Uh, it is a uh, exciting time because a lot of people are kind of... Uh, done with winter whether there's snow or not baseball season isn't that far away uh if you have any information on that all the registration info where i should sign up what group of my is my kid going to be in is all at winkthrominerball.ca perfect and you've been around this organization 10 years ish you said seems like <laughs> longer than that but yeah it's been around eight to ten years okay and uh it's been a lot of fun to see the kids who were there when I started and where they have gone and how much better some of the kids have gotten and kind of the development that we like to pride ourselves on. And, uh, you know, it's it's a lot of fun to, to be part of this program and, you know, help uh, and be able to see it grow from uh, where it was just a few years ago to one of the top baseball softball programs in Manitoba. Very exciting for the Pemina Valley. You were saying too it's cool to see, to have seen the kids who didn't know which hand to put their glove yep. on to where they are now. Yeah, and it's one of those development things. A lot of them, you know, don't necessarily come from a, a sports-minded family and maybe don't play catch in the backyard all the time. Some families do, some families don't. So, you know, sometimes it's one of those where the only time this kid gets to play sports or play with their buddies or whatever is on the the ball field and it's it's nice to be able to help out those kids and the ones who are really keen on it and are playing ball all year long in the basement in the garage and they get to kind of show and show everyone what they've done and how much they've worked hard over the off season we were also talking about the success of last year yeah, the last year the softball program especially uh, got gold in every single level of provincials except for one. The one that they didn't get gold, they got silver. So it was a really nice thing for them. Uh, the softball girls put in a lot of work. They're out uh, doing pitching clinics and different drills and stuff at the turf facility at uh, the Meridian Exhibition Center. Mm -hmm. They started that first week of January this year again. It's kind of hard to say that that's not a coincidence that all that training and all the facility that we're able to use is one of the reasons why they were the best in the province at almost every category. Yep. Uh, the boys program, baseball program did well as well, but uh, you know, it's one of those situations you have a lot more fun when you win and it helps with development. It helps with people wanting to play. It helps with, yeah. you know, coaches wanting to be part of the program. So that's one of those things that kind of all goes hand in hand. Are you seeing a lot of those girls registering again for this year or have they aged out? Yeah, they have, uh, they have registered again, a lot of them. There is also a few girls uh, that have gone through our program that are getting scholarships to go to colleges in the States. I know uh, there's two that just did it this year. Uh, Delaney Penner and uh, Madden Weep. So they wow. have uh, used the Winkler Minor Ball and other platforms to, to go get themselves a, a scholarship to go uh, down south. So that's really cool. That's very exciting. And year after year, you're seeing the, the kids come back with excitement and passion and love for the game. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's one of those, it's a really short season. Uh, mm -hmm. It can be as short as six weeks, eight weeks, depending on how you do in provincials. It's like a two, three month program. And it's one of those that you really are kind of upset when it's over because <laughs> there's so much more summer left, but baseball program's over and you have to wait a whole nother nine months to get there. So I know kids are really excited. Some of the clinics and camps we put on, they fill up really quick which means people are really excited to get the season going and of course always a call out for more coaches always every single day you need more people to help out with the program you need coaches whether it's the person who wants to head up the program uh, head up a team be the head coach maybe just a helper maybe just a manager maybe just help on the exec a little bit um, there's always a need for that if you are at all interested winkthermonterball.ca is the place to go to find some contact info or uh, social media pages uh, there's always somebody there answering questions if you are interested in helping Perfect. Well, good luck with the clinic and uh, good luck with the upcoming season. Thanks so much.
Hey, I'm Nicole Clausen. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something you'd like to share with the Pemina Valley, we'd love to have you on the morning show. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. And remember, like this video and share it with your friends.